respected ulama, dear brothers and elders, young friends, honorable mothers and sisters. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned one ajeeb riwayat. Abu Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhu mentions, ذكر رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بلاء يصيب هذه الأمة. رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم was once in a gathering with the respected Sahaba Kiram رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. And he mentioned some problems, some difficulties, some conditions which will befall this Ummah. حتى لا يجد الرجل ملجأ يلجأ إليه من الظلم. These difficulties will be, these halat will be, these atrocities will be such. No one will be able to find no refuge where they can run and take shelter. Such halat will come upon this ummat of mine. Such conditions will come upon this ummat of mine. People will run, people will look. I need a place of refuge, they will find nothing. لا يجد الرجل ملجأن. There will be absolutely no refuge for that person running away from the zulm and the atrocities which he is facing. فيبعث الله رجلا من عترتي وأهل بيتي. Allah subhanahu wa taala will see the downtroddenness of this ummah. Allah will see the musiba which the ummah is going through. Allah will see the tests, the trials, the tribulations which this ummah is going through. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through His infinite mercy will send one person, will send one person. He will be such, Allah Rabbul Izzat will send him, he will be from amongst my family. In another riwayat it mentions, this person will come with so much khair and so much goodness and so much benefit for this ummah. Had there have only been one day left for this ummah and that person had not come, Allah would stretch this day so much just so this person can come into this ummah. That person from the family of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that person who has the sharaf and has the noble lineage that connects up to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَيَمْلَأُ بِهِ الْأَرْضِ قِسْطًا وَعَدْلًا This person will come, he will fill the whole world with justice. He will fill the whole world with adalat. He will fill the whole world with good conditions upon this ummah. كَمَا مُلِئَتْ ظُلْمًا وَجَوْرًا Just as how we found there was hardships upon this ummah. There were difficulties upon this ummah. This person will flip the conditions around. From bad, they will go to good. From worst, they will go to best. From insignificant, the ummah will become significant. يَرْضَى عَنْهُ سَاكِنُ السَّمَا وَسَاكِنُ الْأَرْضِ he will be such in his justice. He will be such in his rule. He will be such in his advancing in deen. So much so, the inhabitants of the sky will love this person. Every single being on this earth will also love this person. Such a zat and such a person is going to come to this ummah, my beloved brothers. Such a person, Rasul Salasa mentions, he will be from my family. Umm Salima radiallahu ta'ala anha, she mentions a further hadith where Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentions further, Al-Mahdi min itrati wa ahli bayti. Another riwaya, Al-Mahdi min itrati min awladi Fatima. Mahdi is from my progeny, and he will be from the awlad and from the children of Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. He mentions in another hadith, this world will not come to an end. This dunya will not cease. This dunya will not perish. La tadhabu dunya. This will never ever come to an end until what? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions, Hatta yamlik al Arab rajulum min ahli bayti. Until a time does not come where a person will come from my progeny, a person will come from that progeny from Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha. Until he does not become the ruler of the whole of the Arabian Peninsula, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not send Qiyamat. He also mentions this person's name is same like my name. And in another riwayah, يَوَاطِهُ اسْمُهُ اسْمِي وَاسْمُ أَبِيهِ اسْمُ أَبِي 
His name will be Muhammad and he will be the son of Abdullah. He will be Muhammad bin Abdullah. You and I refer to him as the Mahdi and the guided one. Such a person, Allahu Akbar. He will come and he will restore the Ummah back to the pinnacle of glory. He will take the Ummah back to that status which it once fell from. He will take the Ummah back to the stages of where they can walk with Izzat and respect. Downtroddenness we see, Zillat we see, Ruswahi and disgrace we see. He will bring this Ummah back to the stages of glory. Allahu Akbar. At the time when there will be a Khalif who dies in around Medina, he will flee and he will go and leave and go to Mecca. Doesn't want to take part in any feud. Doesn't want to take part in any ikhtilaf. He leaves. The signs in the hadith have mentioned the coming of who we refer to as the Mahdi. His description, how he will be. When he speaks, he'll have a slight stutter and he will hit his leg out of frustration. His, his, his attributes, how his face looks, everything has been described in the hadith. You and I know, now let's take a, a step out for one moment and think for a second. Rhetoric we hear, as the Sheikh rightly before me, he pointed out, some people will make claim that what? We believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We believe him to be the last Nabi. We believe him to be the Khatamun Nabeen and the seal of all prophets. We know looking at literature, this is not the case. We know looking into the books, we can see this is not the case. But where you and I will find some people will fall, some people will slip, some people will fall into error is how and how. How? Because they will make this claim. The Aliyadu Billah, our leader, our founder was none other than Imam Mahdi and the Messiah. We have lack of knowledge. A young child will be able to tell you, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. That there is none worthy worship but Allah and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last messenger. We know this. And a child will be able to tell you. But from this angle now, the no, 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 no. We believed. Halanki, we know the claim that he made to prophethood is there in the books. You cannot run from such facts. But from this angle now, reformer, Mahdi, spiritual guide, we don't even know a little amount of knowledge where we can answer such claims. We can tackle such questions. We can give jawab to such false information. When we look at the claims of the people who make this, is their name like Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I answer in the negative. Is the father's name like Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Again, I answer in the negative. If you look at the mother the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, anyone who made claim, that person who made claim, is the name like the mother of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I, if not we as a whole, we will all answer in the negative. That no, there is no such thing. Allahu Akbar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will, he will put in his heart, he will leave, he will go to Makkah al Mukarramah, and he will be between the Hajr Aswad and the Maqam Ibrahim. And people will recognize, this is that person who has been mentioned in the hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He won't claim himself. He will not try to assume the throne and the position himself. He will not say, I am the leader, I am the ruler, I am, your, I am the person who will be in charge, I am the person at the top of the hierarchy. He will not say this, he will not make claim to this. People will see him, people will approach him and they will force him to take the bay'ah and they will say, you are the Mahdi, you are the guided one. Do we see this? Many people have laid claim. Many people make comments that I am such and such, I am a guided one. I am the Mahdi. The hadith which have been established have come through such an overwhelming number of sources. One cannot lie, you cannot even try to fabricate. Even doing so, one person's iman will become void and empty. When seeing this, one person from the Nasal of Khalid bin Yazid, bin Muawiyah bin Abu Sufyan bin Abi Sufyan 
What will he do? This will be someone from that progeny. He will dispatch an army against this person who people have claimed to be the ruler. Allahu Akbar, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she mentions in one hadith, what Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prophesized. يَغْزُوا جَيْشَ الْكَعْبَ فَإِذَا كَانُوا بِبَيْدَاءَ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ يُخْصَفُوا بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخِرِهِمْ a time will come when there will be a group of people, there will be an army and they will advance towards Mecca to make an attack. They will be in a place called Bayda, And such will be their condition from start till finish, the whole army will be swallowed up into the ground. He is trying to make a launch and attack against that person who has been prophesied by Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Start till finish, the whole army will be sunk into the ground. Only one person will be able to remain from that and he will go and give the khabar to Muhammad bin Abdullah, the Mahdi, that such and such an army tried to come and attack you and this has been their condition. The Abdal and the pious people from Sham and Iraq, when they hear this, overwhelmingly they come in their multitudes and they come and they present their self at his service. Such will be the status at that time, Allahu Akbar. He will live for a number of years. He will live for a number of years, approximately six years. There will be little feuds that will take place. Such will be the Iman of these people, Allahu Akbar. It mentions when it comes to taking over one particular city, he will advance with his Jaish and his army behind. They will arrive at one particular city. They will not need to exchange any blows. They will not need to exchange any arms or take up arms. They will say in one voice, Allahu Akbar, and the whole wall will fall down from the city. Such Iman, Allahu Akbar. Saying this takbir again, another wall, another wall, and they will go in and they will take over. Time does not permit, wallah, there is so much one can mention. From here then he flee, he, they go after defeating the army because an announcement is made that Dajjal has now been, has made himself present. Being false, but once they arrive, then the actual news does come out that yes, he has arrived. Long the stories are, long the incidents are, but then Isa alayhi salam will come and he will also join forces. Allahu Akbar. And they will then, at that time, kill and slay the Dajjal. Isa alayhi salam, this is his responsibility. This will be his job. This will be in the seventh year. One year he will live with Isa alayhi salam, and in the ninth year he will then pass away. In Ta'aliq al-Sabih, it is mentioned that he will also be buried in Bayt al-Maqdis. And the Imam for the Janazah will be none other than Nabi Isa alayhi salam. Allahu Akbar. So my dear respected brothers and elders, our purpose of mentioning these incidents, our purpose of mentioning these riwayah are what? You and I need to understand what is our basic aqidah. We can fall victim if we don't know the basics even of our own deen. And with great worry and concern, we should go and convey the message to our children, to our beloved, our, 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 love, our loved ones. And explain to them and tell them that what is the finality of Rasul Sallallahu message. Who are these significant people that will come? Who will be these people that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had prophesied in the hadith? Time does not permit me, otherwise we could go on more. I make dua to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, whatever has been said, be beneficial and be a means of hidayat for us and everyone else, inshallah. Say Ameen. Amen. May Allah Rabbul Izzat accept our gathering and our sitting, and just as how we have gathered here today, may Allah Rabbul Izzat also gather us as well in Jannah Firdaus. Wa akhiru da'wana, and alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen.